Coming up on City Spotlight, we're on location for a new episode on Effingham as we talk construction trades, education curriculum, or CTEC. We'll talk with the lead facilitator for CTEC, Jedediah Shoemaker, about this year's class in the CTEC program and where the program is in now year three. And then we'll talk with a couple of local contractors, Marty Stock of Home Builders Plus and Shane Frederiking of Frederiking Construction about the role of local contractors with the CTEC program. And finally, we'll talk with a couple of alumni of the CTEC program, Dick Wenty and Tom Flood, about their experiences and the skills they learned with the CTEC program. We're on location in Effingham as we're talking the Constructionist Trades class, next on City Spotlight. City Spotlight is supported by Consolidated Communications. CCI is honored to salute the cities and their leaders in the area, as well as providing TV, internet, and phone service to local homes and businesses. We live where we work and are proud to support the communities we serve. More information available at consolidated.com. And thank you to all of you for joining us for this latest episode of City Spotlight. As you can tell, we are not in the studio. We are on location in Effingham, and we're at the Constructions Trades class, Constructions Trades Education Curriculum, or CTEC, as we'll reference it throughout the program. To start off this first segment here, first of three segments here on the CTEC program, we have Jedediah Shoemaker. He's the lead facilitator for CTEC. Welcome to the program, Jed. Thanks, Wayne. Pleasure. And uh, first time on the program, uh, before we talk uh, in depth of what CTEC is, we kind of already talked about the program earlier in the spring here on City Spotlight. Tell us about yourself and how long you've been affiliated with the CTEC program. Sure. So, uh, firstly, I'm a product of uh, EIU's math department. All right. Uh, and I moved back to uh, Effingham, where I'm originally from. I saw a lot of opportunity here, mm -hmm. and uh, currently I'm employed by uh, Effingham Unit 40 School District. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm the lead facilitator for the CTEC class as well as a shop teacher at the high school. Okay, very good. Pleasure. Glad to have you on here. And you said you're the lead facilitator for the program? What, yeah. does, what does a faci facilitator do? Sure. So for this class, um, I kind of, the role that I play is a little bit less of being the teacher out front. Mm -hmm. uh, our program is based on the idea that we want to bring the contractors and the professionals currently employed in the industry into the classroom to do the teaching. And so as a facilitator, that's what my role is, is to uh, get these contractors into the classroom and to open up uh, job sites for our students to go visit. And then uh, aside from that, during class, I'm more, uh, my role is more to document what we're doing because again, I want the contractors to do the teaching um, they've got a lot more experience and they do th this stuff every day. I don't. Okay, very good. And we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later and also hear from a couple of contractors. Tell us about, this is year three of CTEC. So tell mm -hmm. us about this year's class and, and where they're from. Sure. So our, our class, uh, we take applicants from all six of the county high schools for the program. Mm -hmm. uh, this year we've got 17 students. Uh, our goal class size is 20. We had a couple of students that moved out of a school district right at the beginning of the school year and okay. we didn't, couldn't get those slots filled. So our students come from uh, the Effingham High School as well as St. Anthony here mm -hmm. in Effingham. Uh, we also have the Teutopolis High School, right. Diederich, Aldermott, and Beecher City involved. Okay. Very good. Um, what growth have you seen in the program from year one to two to now, which is year three? Sure, so the first year of the class, uh, we had an idea of what we wanted to accomplish, mm -hmm. and we had some really good ideas of how to get there. Uh, over the past three years, we've learned a lot. Um, part of my role over the summer is to go and speak with the, the uh, employers of, the, of our students, mm -hmm. uh, as well as the volunteer instructors and the alumni themselves. So I've taken a lot of their input and incorporated it in, in our class here. And we've been kind of surprised on you know, what our emphasis uh, should be with the class. And uh, the contractors, which we'll hear in the next segment, uh, their uh, receptiveness to coming and taking the time from their job to be here, do they see the value in, in this class? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, it is a big uh, commitment for the contractors to be in here. Uh, you know, especially right now, this time of the year is, you know, your peak building season before the winter. Uh, but they understand, you know, every contractor we talk to, they talk about having 50 to 70, 80 percent of their workforce retire in the next 10 to 15 years with no young people coming in. So they absolutely understand uh, the need that we need to start developing young people and uh, 
teaching them the opportunities available in the construction trades industry so that we can get some uh, young blood uh, in, in our workforce. And from what you oversee of the contractors that are here on uh, a daily basis and the students, talk about that working environment and what that's like. Sure. So, uh, again, our, our goal is to bring the contractors in in front of the students. Uh, that way they have uh, that experience teaching them. You know, as a teacher, uh, they see me every day in front of the classroom. And not that they don't believe what I'm saying, but whenever it's, uh, you know, somebody that was working in the field yesterday and is going to be working in the field doing this stuff later on today, whenever they're teaching them what to do, I think it drives home, uh, you know, what's important there, um, as well as the fact that these contractors are investing in the students. Um, I think that goes a long ways to convincing them, you know, what opportunities are going to be available for them uh, in the future. So you've hit the, the third year mark here on construction trades class and the contractors are, are invested making the time. Why is this class needed now here in Effingham County? So again, uh, there is not a contractor that we talk to that doesn't tell us that uh, half of his workforce is going to retire in the next five to ten years. Um, you know, it is not uncommon for us to talk to contractors that say they've got one guy in their 20s, one guy in their 30s, and everybody else is 40 and 50. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, there, there's a big void there that needs to be filled uh, for the workforce. And on the other side, the students, um, they may not realize what opportunities are available to them. I know that I didn't whenever I was leaving high school. and. Uh, one of the major emphasis of our program is career education. Just showing them, you know, how many jobs are available in the construction trades field and not just residential. We look at industrial, commercial, agricultural settings. We talk to the salesmen and the architects and the surveyors, not just the guys that are swinging hammers and, and pushing shovels. Uh, in our last segment of the program, uh, we've already taped, taped that with a couple of your alumni from the first and second year classes here of CTEC. And they both kind of talked about, in addition to learning these awesome skills from these professionals, uh, the personal skills that they learn as well. Yeah, so that's one, been one of the surprising things that we found in running this program. Uh, in our first year, uh, it, the emphasis was definitely hands-on. And this is a trades class, so we'll never get away from teaching the hands-on skills. But what we found from talking to employers and alumni is that it's the interpersonal soft skills, as we call them, that are... Uh, just as important, if not more important. So uh, a major part of our curriculum is tailored to teaching them communication skills, uh, just things simple as just shaking hands and you know being comfortable introducing themselves with people. We also do leadership training. Uh, our students leave having uh, created their own resumes and been through inter you know learning some interview strategies. Uh, and then we also hit math pretty hard. All right, some math skills in there as well. Very good. Final question for you, Jed, and we appreciate your time here on City Spotlight. What do you enjoy most about the class and what it's doing for the young people and everyone here in Effingham County? Oh, uh, gosh, this is an awesome program, and I really wish that something like this had been around whenever <laughs> I was going through high school. I might not be a high school shop teacher then. Mm -hmm. uh, so just the learning, the, the, how, how they're exposed to so many different avenues, and then the personal growth in our students. Uh, you know, talking to our students you know, the first couple of months of the class versus the, the, the young adult that graduates from the program at the end of the year is uh, very rewarding. All right, very good, wonderful class. Uh, was able to come here in the spring after we uh, did that one hour Effingham program and, and learn a little bit about it. So more, more learned here today on the CTEC program, the first of three segments, Jedediah Shoemaker, lead facilitator for CTEC. We appreciate your time here on City Spotlight. Thank you. And coming up next here on City Spotlight, we'll continue this episode here talking about CTEC. We'll talk with a couple of contractors here in Effingham County. But first, let's take a look at some of the upcoming activities going on in Effingham. We're back here on City Spotlight, this on-location episode in Effingham as we continue to talk about construction's trades class. And now we're going to talk to a couple of contractors that are involved in, in the CTEC program. We have Marty Stock. He's the owner of the Home Builders Plus, and he's also a CTEC board member. Welcome to the program, Marty. Thank you. 
And we have Shane Frederiking. He's the owner of Frederiking Construction. He's also a CTEC board member. Welcome to the program, Shane. Thank you. Appreciate you guys being here. Looking forward to your insights on why you guys are part of the CTEC program. But first off, your first time guest on the program, can you tell us about yourself and uh, tell us a little bit about the business you're affiliated with? First, you, Marty. Um, my name, obviously, is Marty Stock. I'm with Home Builders Plus here in town. Um, I've been in business for 30 years. Uh, we're a residential contractor, um, which is a, what, a lot of what this program is about. Uh, this is really all I've ever done uh, right out of high school, like a lot of these students will be doing. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm enthused about this program, and okay. that's pretty much it. That's who I am. Thank you very much. And Shane, can you tell us about yourself and, and a little bit about Frederick Construction, please? Sure. Uh, I'm Shane Frederick with Frederick King Construction. Uh, we're located in Alamont. Um, we do a lot of residential construction as well. Um, I, uh, I've been doing it since full time since 1995 when I graduated uh, from Lakeland at the Building Construction Technology Program. So. Okay, very good. All right, my questions will be directed to both of you, so we'll have Marty answer first and then followed by Shane. My first question for you is, what do you guys see as your role in the class? I believe our role in this class is to uh, kind of assist uh, the instructor, obviously first, uh, and to assist the students uh, as uh, not only board members but as a, as a contractor coming in we have an insight that that uh, maybe you might not get in any kind of, kind of classroom scenario obviously experience on the job and uh, and, and our, our long-term experience being in the business mm -hmm. uh, would contribute to that a lot. Okay, very good. Shane, anything you can add there? Um, basically, I would say, you know, it's something for us to give back uh, to these students, um, you know, from our standpoint as being contractors, is we would like to see them in this trade as we are, um, the trade needs these skilled workers to take over whenever we are uh, uh, retiring and that kind of stuff. We just want to bring it back up um, and to be here for them, basically to say, hey, we're, you know, you're the person that could take over our job someday. Okay, very good. Before we tape this segment this morning, you guys were out here with the students uh, working on a project. Can you tell me about some of the skills that you were maybe uh, working with them this morning? Uh, on my end, we're, yes. we're working on a cooler. Okay. So we were uh, insulating, mm -hmm. was one of the uh, jobs that we were doing. And obviously, these students have never done it before. But uh, uh, as simple as that may sound, uh, there's certainly a technique to that. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously, we were uh, doing a few other things as well, prepping before that. We were putting a, a rod through the end uh, a, a, for a pull rod, and these students had to figure out where to put these. So you had to locate that and bore it through four different four before. So uh, they had to learn to get the location just right. So, uh, you know, there's certainly uh, some skill to that. You have to understand how that works. Okay. And Shane, uh, tell us about what you were doing this morning with the students and some of the skills, things you were teaching them. Okay, so the uh, um, students I was overseeing, they were building their own trusses for their module. Uh, and they built seven of them and uh, they had to pre-cut all the angles. So you had one, uh, one set of guys doing that as the other guys were fastening together. Um, you know, I just kind of oversee and, and saw they were making a few mistakes, let them make the mistake and then correct them as here's how you'd need to go about it. That way they can learn. That's the only way that truly that they're going to learn in this industry. Marty and Shane, you guys are both the professionals here, hopefully being able to teach these kids these skills that they can move forward with them. One of the goals of the class, I imagine, would be to teach these kids these construction and trade skills and be able to keep them locally. Talk about that aspect of the program and, and these kids being future uh, construction trades uh, workers here in Effingham County. Yes, uh, that's exactly what we're trying to do is to, to keep them here. Uh, and you know, we, we have a demand, not just here, but nationwide, we have a, a demand for skilled trades people. So for us to come in and teach these kids, I think is very, very important. And from your vantage point, Shane, what can you add to that? Uh, yeah, I mean, the goal of the program has always been to um, make these, give them a general aspect of all the trades, whether it be plumbing, carpentry, electrical, all the aspects of the building trades, and let them choose at that point, at the end of the year, which route that they might want to want to go, and that would help them. Uh, and basically, they're going to be, every one of the students are going to be employable by the end of their senior year and ready for the workforce if, if need be. It's probably a question I may, may have asked a question ago, but a follow-up to uh, what you guys are teaching them individually. Uh, when you see the kids working in there, uh, 
I mean, what's the reaction to some of the things you guys are teaching them? To them, is it eye-opening? To some of them, is it stuff that they've kind of done before? Uh, what are some of the reactions you see of the students in there? Uh, obviously, some of them have, but as a rule, uh, most of them have not uh, tackled in, any of these things. And, and you can tell, they're very green, but, but uh, it's amazing, a little bit of assistance, and they catch on real easily. And, and it, obviously, that's the goal of this, but uh, I'm always impressed by how just a little bit of time with them, uh, it's amazing they pick up on it pretty quickly. You had a, you had a couple of moments there while I was filming you in that one room. Uh, uh, you were teaching them a couple of things there about, I think maybe been measuring. Uh, talk about uh, working with them one-on-one -on -one and, and, and how they are receptive to your criticism. Sure, and they, all it was was I, I seen them that they were, there might have been a mistake there, so I just let them go ahead. Now here's what you would need to do and adapt to change. It's all, that's what it's always about during the construction industry is, okay, if you have an issue, how do we change it? And I was just giving them you know, a tip of this is what I would do to bring this in closer and get your tolerances a little bit less. Okay, uh, as we wrap up with you gentlemen here, a couple of questions left. Why is, uh, why is this class uh, needed in Eppingham County right now? Oh, uh, Again, it really comes back to uh, the demand, but, but not only the demand, but you know, there are a lot of students out here that, that can use some direction. And there's a void that needs to be filled. Uh, so it's kind of twofold in my eyes. Uh, mm -hmm. We can find a place for some of these students to fit right. and maybe give them something that they can use for life. Uh, and, and then also help in our industry as well to fill those voids on our side. Very good. And from your perspective, uh, Shane, why is CTEC needed now in Effingham County? Uh, I can see that the youth need a little bit more instruction um, as, as far as that goes. I mean, their communication is excellent by the time that they get out of this class, and I think that's going to help them in the workforce how they choose not to go to college. Okay, very good. My last question for you gentlemen is, uh, what do you guys get at? What's your enjoyment of being here in this class? Marty? Oh, <laughs> anytime you can see young kids develop and kind of blossom, uh, certainly from a personal standpoint, uh, most of these young men, uh, and I say young men, when they come in, they uh, may be lacking in some of the, the uh, social skills and the life skills, but when they leave, they've certainly developed those a lot, and that's, uh, you know, that, that's really pleasant and, and uh, uh, it's something that I really enjoy seeing. I mean, they, they, they develop as individuals as much as anything. Very good. Shane, from your perspective, what do you enjoy most about being here? Uh, um, I, I feel it's, it's an opportunity to give back um, for the construction industry. Um, I think it's neat that I might be able to give them a little bit of something, and I also learn a lot from the students as well. All right, wonderful. Great learning environment for everyone. Very good. <laughs> Marty Stock of Home Builders Plus uh, here in, in Effingham, and Shane Frederick, the uh, owner of uh, Frederick and Construction in Altamont. Gentlemen, thank you for being here on City Spotlight. You're welcome. Thank you. And coming up next here on City Spotlight, we'll talk with a couple of CTEC alumni. Stay with us. City Spotlight is on YouTube. Past episodes can be viewed on East Central Illinois towns that have been featured on City Spotlight. Just search on YouTube, City Spotlight, with the show number and the name of the town. Listed on your screen are the recent episodes of City Spotlight. And we're back here on City Spotlight, this final segment here on this on location episode in Effingham on CTEC. And we're gonna talk with a couple of, of alumni of the CTEC program. We have Dick Wente, uh, he, he's currently employed by ACRA, and I understand you're currently in school. Can you tell us about yourself uh, and also when you were in the CTEC class? Uh, I was uh, a member of the first year class okay. um, when I was a senior, and I went to Teutopolis High School. And uh, after the program, I. Uh, Decided to go to a school in Indiana over in Vincennes. I'm in the construction technology program at Vincennes, Indiana. I'm on my second and last year there. I'll be done in May. So, very good. And this summer I was employed by Acro Builders. Very good. Thank you for being here. We also have Tom Flood. He's a, also an alumni of CTEC program, and you're currently employed by 1T Plumbing. Can you tell yep. us about yourself, please? Yeah, I'm Tom Flood. I was in the CTEC class last year. Okay. I went to Diedrich High School, and then after the year was up, I went and started working at Warney Plumbing. Okay. Very good. Thank you guys for being here. And uh, recent alumni of the program, it's in its third year, so it's trying to move forward and, and build a longevity here in, in Effingham County. Memories of being in this class, uh, whether it be one particular memory or just the overall thoughts of, of the whole class in general, what are some things that stand out to you that you enjoyed the most? I'll start with you, Dick. 
Uh, I think a lot of the job site visits that we would take are really some of the things that I remember most because I actually got to go out and see, you know, it wasn't just driving by it every day and it wasn't learning from a book. We actually got to go out and look at what was going on, meet the contractors, meet the employees, see what was going on. And a lot of that really stuck out in my mind because it's like, you know, this is where I will be working, you know, after high school after college and going on a lot of the job site visits was definitely my favorite thing to do I think. Let me ask you one follow-up question and then we'll ask the same question to uh, Tom. Why did you want to partake in this class? Why, why was it important for you to be a part of the CTEC program? Um, I think it had a lot to do with my dad always saying like you know you need to learn how to do things on your own so you don't have to pay someone to do it and uh, my uh, freshman year of high school we built the barn at my house oh. and uh, I kind of got to thinking like you know I don't know how to do it. I mean, Dad did, so uh, this program kind of came up, and we weren't sure what it was going to be. It was the first year. No one had a clue. Uh, I was like, you know, I'll try it, and maybe I'll learn something, and it's kind of snowballed into my life now. So, Very good. Thank you for your answers there. And, and Tom, uh, memories of being in this class and, and what, you, uh, what you learned from it? Um, I like the hands-on stuff, like how we built our own modules mm -hmm. in the class. Like we shingled them ourselves. We did all the all hands-on so like we learned as we went so I like that part. Uh, and why did you, uh, follow up the question I asked him as well, why did you feel like it was necessary for, for you to be a part of this class? I just, construction interested me and I was wanting to learn more about it so I send the class as an opportunity. Okay, very good. In our last segment we talked with a couple of contractors that were here. Uh, having been in the class, you were in the classroom with them. Uh, they're the professionals. They're they're teaching you what they've know that what they know. So that hopefully it carries on to you guys. And obviously you're continuing with those skills now. And what you just told me, um, the opportunity to work with professional contractors in the classroom. Talk about that experience. It's a very humbling experience. Um, it's crazy to think how much that we don't know <laughs> yet, still as students. But it's it's you know watching them do things, and you think you know someday I'll be able to show someone how to do that and to be able to be successful and a professional in whatever field that may be, whether it's concrete or residential carpentry. And, and to me, it's, it's just it's super humbling. Like, I have so much more to learn. And, you know, so they've been building for, you know, 20, 30 years. And, and I think I know a lot, but I don't have a clue compared to these guys. <laughs> we, so. always, we always continue learning, right? Right, every day. And Tom, your, your thoughts of being in the program and being able to work with these professionals in the class? Um, I thought it was pretty cool, like, um, now I, that I'm on the job site, like, I still work with them, and it's continuing, and I still learn. I'm learning every day, so. Okay, very good. Uh, and you guys were here today in the class, uh, helping out with the students, and uh, from your perspective, to see this next class, this third class, uh, bring back pleasant thoughts of, of when you were in the class just a year or two ago? Yeah. I mean, it, it kind of brought back memories of, you know, high school. I know I talked like it was so long ago, it was only two years, but yeah, I mean, coming here, you know, it was different than regular school. You know, right. you get here early, you're, I'm in a different building from where I was, where I actually went to high school, mm -hmm. and it was, it was nice to see the same kind of setup, just different kids doing different things, and teachers are the same, and the contractors are the same, but it's, it's still good to come back and see everything. Tom, uh, Dick mentioned something a couple answers ago about being able to be out of the classroom, and this is a pretty unique uh, learning environment. Talk about that experience for you. Yeah, it was, it's pretty cool. Like, we always going on jobs, going to job sites and stuff. It's always, you know, we're not just in the classroom. We're always going somewhere to learn about stuff, and right. it's pretty cool. Awesome. Very good. Um, most enjoyable thing or something enjoyable that you that you that you took away from the class when you were done with it? Uh, I just, I think I took away the fact that, you know, construction can be a career, 100%, and it can be a successful career. And if you are willing to work for it, you can make something great for yourself. And, you know, always thinking about how I'm gonna make it in this world, finding something, you know, where, even though I haven't really found my niche yet, mm -hmm. I kind of discovered that, you know, this, this industry as a whole you can make a living out of and be happy and successful. And, and it made me happy because going into high school, I didn't have a clue what I was going to do with my life. And now I'm getting closer, I think, to figuring it out. All right. 
And Tom, uh, what's something that you took away from the class um, when you were done with it? It's just not the construction. You learn social skills, like meeting all the other kids from the different schools and mm -hmm. talking with the contractors and stuff. It just should be more social and Absolutely. yeah. To get to work with students from all, all different high schools in Effingham County must have yeah. been very, very unique. Um, last question for you gentlemen. Appreciate your time here on City Spotlight. This class is in its third year. Uh, why do you think, in your opinion, this class needs to continue to move forward and be a part of, of teaching these kids skills uh, here in Effingham County? I mean, it basically comes down to there's so much work out there and not enough, you know, workers out. And uh, there's, like, same with me. I didn't realize how much of a void there was until I joined the program, you know, deviled farther into it. And I was like, you know, there is an opportunity and kids wouldn't know that without a program like this. You know, Tom and I both got jobs through companies locally because they, you know, had a need for us and they, you know, they saw that we went through the program and it was pretty much an easy hire for both of us, I feel like, and, and that's why it's important because, you know, people in our area, contractors, they all need help and a lot of us are willing to do it, but we wouldn't know about it without this program. Tom, what can you add to, to Dick's comment there about why this is needed now yeah. in Effingham County? Like Dick said, there's so much of a demand for us, like being on job sites and stuff. I'm the youngest one out there most of the time. Mm -hmm. Everybody's in their mid-40s, and there's just a high demand for us. Okay. Very good. Dick Wente, Tom Flood, alumni of the CTEC program, currently employed also. We appreciate your comments here today on City Spotlight. Thank you. Thanks. And that'll do it for this on-location episode in Effingham on the CTEC program. Appreciate you guys checking this episode out, and we'll see you next time. City Spotlight is supported by Consolidated Communications. CCI is honored to salute the cities and their leaders in the area, as well as providing TV, internet, and phone service to local homes and businesses. We live where we work and are proud to support the communities we serve. More information available at consolidated.com.